the jewel of Manipur. I am the convergence of nine mountain ranges. I am the surrounding hills and the valley of Manipur. In their cosmic dance, the god Nungpuk Ningtao and the goddess Panthoibi created Manipur for the happiness of our ancient tribes. I am everywhere. I am the endlessness of life. Here, I sit at the loom, weaving the destiny of Manipur. I weave and I dance in the endlessness of time. of kings and queens, the children of many tribes came to me from the east, the north, the south and the west. Nagas, Kukis, Shans and Aryans. All these faces are facets of my face, the jewel of Manipur. <laughs> I am the jewel of Manipur. The splendor of my mornings are a surprise even to the gods. My heart is in the Loktak Lake. I love my floating islands and the fisher folk who live on them. Look for me in the curvaceous waterways and in the wings and movements of delicate birds. The fisher folk of the Loktak Lake, minstrels and ballad singers, still recall a legend of long ago. I was then the Princess Thoibi, and Kamba, a commoner, fell in love with me. Oh, the prejudices against him, and oh, the dangerous deeds he dared for me. His valor inspires young men to this day. When the men agitate the water of the lake and the women catch the fish, I feel once again the turbulence of the great love of Thoibi and Kamba so long ago. In the slowness of time is found the patience of woman. In the clear waters of Loktak, every woman of Manipur fishes today as Princess Thoibi did a thousand years ago. Oh, 
As for the fish, who eats the succulent fish? Why, all of Manipur. In the Luktak Lake, sometimes even the menfolk do some work. It is said there are five elements in creation, but there is a sixth, my shadow. Come with me in the evening to the resting place of the wild bird who no one knows. Away from sorrow, there is a nest for everyone. Another day and another week in the bazaar of Imphal, the capital of Manipur. They ask me, what have you to offer? And I answer, have you not eyes to see? This is the market of all marketplaces, conducted by my sisters of Manipur. Our fingers may hurt, our shoulders are tired. Sometimes it takes months to weave each other, but we make fiber into dreams and the dreams clothe our beautiful bodies. Here are gathered all my sisters of Manipur. We are all one. It takes many threads to make one design. I am the fabric of Manipur. Look at the terraces of my heart. Here I work and grow and play. Yes, play, for I enjoy the work I do. From the richness of the earth, I bring forth sustenance for my people, my children, my thousand families. <laughs> Laughter is my nature. I always defy the clouds which hide the sun. <laughs> As a child, I learned to dance and weave, as do all the girls of Manipur. As I grow into womanhood, I wonder whether I am the weaver or the woven. Especially when handsome young men come to court me. Cool and indifferent they may seem, but I know them well. Oh, these new warriors of the old tribes. Oh, I'm a 
are the joys of water rippling like my laughter. I am going to make the water of Loktak flow through the base of a mountain and emerge on the other side. In this twilight world, I will surge forth to create power, for I am Shakti, the source of power. My power will shine across valley and hill, lighting up homes and carrying the message of electricity to many activities. Remember, I am the light of Manipur. I am the young forest of many cycles of nature. I have riches unknown and my heart hurts to offer them to you. Look at me. I am an orchid. Am I simple? Am I complex? I seem to be oh so fragile. But I endure. I am the spirit of Manipur. Can I share a secret with you? Through my white veil, I see... Who do I see? Ah, Krishna. He is looking for me, for I am Radha, the jewel of Manipur. It is the festival of Holi. With the colors of springtime comes the divine lover. I wonder again whether I am the seeker or the sort.
you who love me today. Do you not know how my heart yearns for Krishna? I am always Radha, who dances into the heart of Krishna. We quarrel, we play, we love. And it has been so for thousands of years.